I bet you thought the uh, you'd be clicking on this video and seeing me talking about three sales calls that I did today. Well, in truth, technically I had three sales calls today and I had a Zoom meeting for each of them. Now, the not so technical part is the fact that not one of them showed up. So here I was throughout the, the week thinking, okay, maybe these meetings aren't showing up, some of them. But they're kind of big CEOs anyway. They're probably multimillionaires, so they wouldn't really pay attention to me anyway in terms of actually showing up to a meeting for me. But I would have had faith anyway in the fact that these three day, that these th three meetings on the Friday of this week would actually yield a, a proper result. And I'd, I'd, out, of one, out of the three of them, at least enough of them would show up for me to get one of them on board on the process. Well, you know what? I I came onto the Zoom call at about I I'm not sure what time it was one o'clock today it or it might have yeah it was twelve o'clock and I waited five minutes passed by I called the person no response so guess they're not coming guess they didn't show up that's one of them gone but hey at least I still have two left so I go back to my painful cold calling anyway simultaneously not booking any meetings because everybody's freaking gone for the bank holiday and not to mention it happens to be the busiest month in the entire year and this week in particular is the busiest week of that month for my particular my particular industry when I'm that I'm just trying to get started in so anyway I keep calling up mostly they're either busy they don't need my service or they're not there or they're about 70 or they basically tell me to F off right away or there's a gatekeeper it's usually one of those five now beforehand a couple of days ago it would have been a situation where you know sometimes that does happen but most of the time it's just people who are willing to actually have a conversation and you know what I had a few conversations today but not as many as I had yesterday not to mention the fact that I was in I, I wasn't in much pain today but that's probably because my voice just couldn't get garner the amount of enthusiasm I had before because my energy levels just went down so I kept going call, going call, call, call calling anyway and the next meeting expected less of it didn't expect the person to show up as much and lo and behold they didn't show up so that sucked quite badly they didn't show up so I called them up as well and they didn't respond and then they they called me up and then we reorganized a meeting. So, yeah. At least we reorganized it. And he was like, oh, for flip's sake, did I miss that? So, that, that at least that had a, had a reason for it. But hey, at least I have one more meeting today. Maybe, I just maybe, just maybe I have a chance of closing a client. So, I wait anyway because the meeting is about 7 o'clock in the evening on Friday, of course. So... I wait and wait anyway, have my dinner, kind of just getting prepped up for this, spend half an hour prepping again. And overall today, in terms of preparation, I've probably spent about an hour and a half. And I showed up for the meeting anyway. Again, five minutes passed by, he doesn't, he doesn't come. So I call him up and he casually says, oh yeah, I had something on. And I say, okay, do you want to reschedule? And he said, by all means next Friday at 7 p.m. So, yeah. It's pure cause and effect, though. It's pure cause. It's it's on me. This is happening. I, I, I haven't bothered getting them to book through call Canonly yet. I haven't bothered actually setting up a notification system that's automatic and will get to their phones. I haven't bothered trying to actually text them. I could try and text them if I wanted to actually get them to show up. Now, I have two calls tomorrow, and one of them, the guy was extremely enthusiastic and ambitious when I called him, and he was the only person who ever emailed me back when I emailed him about the meeting. Nobody else has ever emailed me back before, so I think he he might end up showing up, and I might actually get on, him on board, and I've kind of been thinking about him as just kind of a reassurance that hey if all goes south at least I'll have that guy but even that in itself is an assumption and I, sh and I shouldn't be making that assumption because 
it means I'll subconsciously try less because with the other prospects because the human brain immediate just automatically switches to the le the path of re least resistance possible and when I go to a path of least resistance in terms of knowing that oh I'm going to have this guy on board anyway it, it causes complacency and I'm, I don't have the guy on board I, I don't I, I, I don't have him on board I, I have a meeting with him tomorrow but I'm, I don't particularly have him on board now and there is there is no guarantee that I will ever have him on board. There is no guarantee even that he will show up. There is no guarantee that he won't get hit by a truck tomorrow. The, the, there's just so many factors that could happen. So many factors that could take him away from the meeting. But it's a Saturday morning so I don't think anything will happen. But still I'm not depending on it. Because again I am enti entirely at the mercy of circumstance 100% of the time. And... I have to only focus on what I'm doing. I have to focus only on the process. Even if I'm getting absolutely bummed all day long with calls, even if I'm getting people telling me to go away half the time, even when I'm trying to sidle my way into a sales meeting, even when I'm getting given out by people going home on a bank holiday weekend, I have to keep going anyway. I have to. I have to keep going to, to, to book enough meetings to have a chance of a, a, attaining financial freedom. I just have to do it. I have to go through that pain. It just has to be done. And it goes beyond any sort of circumstance that could happen to me. I, I need to leverage reality to myself. I just need to make everything the way I, I need it to be made. It just needs to be made that way. It's it's like using my obsessive compulsive tendencies toward a certain toward a a positive output that that's what I'm trying to achieve my stomach is also pretty sick and I don't feel it because my pain tolerance is disgustingly high at this point and I don't realize when something's wrong with me but it's probably because I had about seven pancakes today that my sister made for me pretty nice but wouldn't recommend it also, I had like some chocolate as well on top of that, but you know when someone's pressuring you to eat chocolate and it's just there melting on the pancakes and you're so compulsively opposed to wastage, then what are you gonna do? And you also like chocolate as well, so what? Why not? I've been working towards this point for the last couple of days, just the point where. I could kind of just relax, I wouldn't have another bunch of cold calls to the next morning, just um, going to, about to be going to bed, and then you, you just think, oh, for freak's sake, I've got to do this again tomorrow morning, this is genuine horror, I cannot stick this, this, this is bloody awful. I've been looking forward to this point, but now it's kind of just like, nobody has showed up to my meetings, Nobody. And I've rescheduled two of them, but I was so confident that the first guy today would show up. And now it's like, he, he didn't bother, so and he doesn't bother contacting me back. And I'm sure there was a reason for that, of course. Of course. It's just we need to adjust our expectations. And also that scab in my foot is just not getting any better it's getting a bit slow smaller slowly but it's i'm i'm still like on the bed in pain from it because it's, it's just like it gets bad in the evenings and i'm not trying to be one of those people who uploads on youtube and has a pity party for themselves but i find it slightly therapeutic because after i get off these videos it just like yeah i said that because it was true not because i wanted to make make any sort of message I, I don't have any morals i don't have the capacity to actually help other people because i need to help myself first yeah blah blah all of that really obvious stuff that i've repeated to myself thousands of times but there might just be a chance that one of you find it valuable in the future you may also note the fact that i am severely lacking enthusiasm in my speech in my talk even in the way i'm looking at the camera because 
I have to force enthusiasm, well not force it, but portray an image of enthusiasm all day about my offer and how exciting it is. Getting the people on board, getting the people to share my emotional positive withdrawal, not withdrawal, surplus, emotional surplus, on their joyful end. And just getting that amount of energy and also resisting the amount of negative energy people are giving to you because they want you to f off because you're a salesperson and yeah and there's some people i am actually calling back on tuesday who uh, who can't there's one guy who told me off for ringing people up in the service industry on a friday evening on a bank holiday weekend and and i just kind of like yeah okay you want to talk on on tuesday so kind of ignoring what he said Now I would kind of just like to, I don't know, lose consciousness for, for a bit, just sleeping. Because consciousness uh, at this point is just pure pain. <laughs> it will get better though. And I've done a lot of things, like obviously I could have done a lot better today. I know we can all do pretty much infinitely better to match our potential and our potential is always by definition unreachable due to human flaw I, we could only match our potential if god himself was living within us we can't do that my potential runs miles and runs circles around me every single day and sometimes you just don't know the best thing to do but i try anyway i try the best thing whatever the best thing is it's probably right in front of me and I just don't know it but yeah anyway I think I'm on somewhat of a path I do appreciate you watching this video I noticed one of my videos tell the truth or at least don't lie is getting like a, a ton of views I don't know I might have some truth in it anyway adios